Good afternoon. I am Brother Esquire, and I would like to welcome you to this edition of Your Moment for Biblical Truth. Um, today on my show, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be holding communion. And what I want to do first is I want to examine ourselves so that we can hold this communion because as the Bible says, we don't want to take it unworthily. So, will you please bow your head with me as we examine ourselves. Father, Lord Jesus, we confess our sins. We confess our shortcomings our dirty words, our lustful gazes, our sinful thoughts, our anger, our hate, our greed. Father, remove from us all these things. Remember them no more. Come into our hearts and give us peace. Wash us. Regenerate us. Make us new, Father. Do not let us go. Hold on to us. For we are just men. Lead us not into temptation. Guide us into the path of righteousness. Father, we ask nothing more of you but that you love us as your only son. Love us as you loved him. For he loves us. Savior, our King, we say Amen. Now, the scriptures tell us that the Lord took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat this is my body which is broken for you do in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread you do show the Lord's death until he comes let us partake in the meal of the Lord Psalm 1, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And after that manner, the Lord also took the cup when he had supped and said, This 
is the cup of the New Testament and my blood. Drink it, all of it, and do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death until he come. Let us partake in that cup. Psalm 2 Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Bow your heads and pray with me. Father, we know that you say that you grant us the Holy Spirit. But this day, Father, we allow you to grant us the Holy Spirit, Father. Move into our lives. Give us the power to heal people. Father, give us the power to heal ourselves. Father, come into our lives and anoint us. Give us an unction, Father. Give us a purpose. Forgive us of all our sins and walk with us and gird our minds. Hold our tongues, Father. Keep our righteous robes spotless that we may be worthy when you come. Father, I pray that we not be found sleeping when you come knocking at the door, that we open the door, Father, that when we see angels, Father, we entertain them, Father. Oh, Father, we ask you to move in our lives in the most powerful way in the most holy way, in the most anointed way, in a new way, Father, not in the most day, Father, I ask you to move. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray. Amen. Join me as we offer up worship unto the Lord.
so Father, come into our lives and move upon us, Father. As I blow, Father, fill the people that listen with the Holy Spirit, Father. Grant them the power they ask, Father. Blow upon us, Father. Father, we lift our hands to you, Father, this day. Father, we bow our heads. You are so worthy, Father. Only you, Father. Oh, Father, we worship you. Lord Jesus, we thank you for everything you've done for us. We thank you for forgiving us of our sins, Father. Lord Jesus, we thank you for loving us so much that you left your throne and came down to this earth and gave us eternal life to redeem us, to justify us and to the Father. Thank you so much. One more shot, One more shot, Tato. Mandela Chote. Queen Shalom, Mama Chata, Te Babo Bobo Shata, Nama. Queen Shalom, Dada Dada Bobo Shata. Father, fill us with your love, Father. us, Father. You've never left us, Father. You've always held us, Father. You've never let us fall, Father. And for this we thank you, Father. For this we praise you, Father. For this we give thanks unto you, Father. Father, come into our lives, Father. Reign upon us, the Holy Spirit, Father. Come into our house, Father. Give us a flood, Father, of the Holy Spirit. Fill us from feet all the way to our heads, Father. Give us a purpose, Father. Oh, Father. You are so worthy, Father. You are so worthy, Father. Kept me. He kept me when times were hard and rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He's kept me. Jesus kept me. I thought I could do it all my own. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus kept me. When I wanted to do wrong, yes he did, he kept me, yeah. He kept me. But I was going to lose my mind, Jesus kept me. With his power, Jesus kept me. Father, we thank you so much today. We give you glory, Father. We give you honor and praise, Father. We thank you. Oh, Father, come into our lives. Come into our lives, Father. Come into our hearts, Father. Come into our minds, Father. Give us the words of life, Father. We may 
fight the evil thoughts of the devil, Father. Oh, Father, remove from us all vanity of thoughts, Father. Make us kingdom ready, rapture ready, Father. Make us ready to stand before your throne and bow down and say, Yes, Father, we have fought the fight of faith. Yes. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Woo! Yes. Oh, Father, we thank you, Father. Father, we give you glory, Father. We give you mercy, Father. Even when the devil is coming and is trying to attack us, Father, we rebuke him in the name of Jesus by the power of the blood of the cross. This day, we accept our anointing, Father. This day, we take our rightful spot in the kingdom of righteousness. This day, Father, this day is a new day in our lives, Father. Accept our prayers. Accept our supplications, Father. Do not leave us in the cold. Lord Jesus, we thank you for being our friend and calling yourself our brother. Making yourself equal to us to know the temptations that we go through on a daily basis. To know that there is someone who has seen it and fought that fight and made it. And made it. Lord Jesus made it. That gives us hope in this world and hope maketh not a shame Lord Jesus in your holy name in your holy name we pray this day and we have gathered thank you and amen and amen Now, I would like to thank you for joining me on this communion edition of Your Moment for Biblical Truth. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord guide you and walk with you. May everything you do in the name of the Lord prosper. And until the next time I see you, May God bless you, may Jesus bless you, may the Holy Spirit fill you. This is Brother Esquire saying, good night.